uh, according to virtual humans, there is more than one one 150 virtual influencers on social media, uh, which I mean, I think it's a big number, uh, considering it's like a recent phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Um, and I yeah. think we can expect more. Um, and the people that's in our survey that said that they, we asked why they don't follow virtual influencer. They said they're not interested for the 50%. For the 25% prefer real influencer, but for another 25%, they didn't know they existed. So that's yeah. really interesting. Of course. Yeah. I mean, like, <clears throat> again, as we said before, uh, not a lot, we, we found out that not a lot of people, they don't even know. And, mm -hmm. uh, I also talked with some, you know, Gen Z, uh, you know, users and they told me like, oh, I didn't know. For me, it was like something generational, like, you know, you are now younger, you should expect, you know, especially if you are, um, you know, that age to know, but um, you, they also told me, yeah, but sometimes it's still related to, for example, gaming. And so if you're not really into gaming, it might be a bit difficult that you even know uh, about, uh, you know, the, them. And, um, and we saw, I think, a good split between uh, uh, where they follow them, right? We found out about that Instagram around, you know, 30%, YouTube 30%. And TikTok a bit less, around 20%. I think that because TikTok is so new that you don't really need, I think, maybe virtual influencers, right? Compared to Instagram, there is a uh, YouTube more saturated where you want something new. But uh, potentially it's going to go also on um, on TikTok, maybe maybe in a few months uh, or one year or something like that, when it's going to be more saturated, right? So <clears throat> interesting to see that. Of course, uh, uh, we also ask it, and I think another big percentage is going to be on Twitch because especially with the, with the sensors on, on your body uh, to become sort of like this, um, this uh, digital avatar in real.